Mr Deputy President, I move to take note of an answer by Senator Cormann. Um, I just want to quickly go into this issue of who pays for our Commonwealth. That is the title of a new report by the Tax Justice Network and United Voice. And it found that of Australia's largest 200 companies, 29 per cent have an effective tax rate of 10 per cent or less and 14 per cent have an effective tax rate of 0 per cent. And so we have revealed the true identity of the Treasurer, Mr Hockey's leaners. Remember all the talk about leaners and lifters, Mr Deputy President. And the inference from the government has been that the leaners are the poor, the unemployed, the, dis the people with disabilities, um, the young people. They should all pay more because clearly they are the leaners. And yet what we find is the real leaners in Australian society are the multinational corporations who operate here and Australian companies operating here who are avoiding tax by taking their uh, affairs offshore through subsidiaries and hiding in tax havens. They are the leaners and they are the ones that the government should be going after in order to improve Australia's revenue stream not trying to go even harder on people who have so little. And that is clearly what has come out of the report. And that's why I've been asking Senator Cormann these questions, and it's disgraceful that he is refusing to answer them. First of all, 3,000 people have been sacked from the tax office, and these are the very people who should be doing the work to get this money back from the tax avoiders, and particularly those who have been involved in transfer pricing. And since they've been sacked or given redundancy, they've gone across to some of the big accounting firms that employ them to help the, account, the, the uh, big companies minimise or avoid their tax. So we now have this ridiculous situation, and the minister refused to answer the question yesterday, whereby the tax office is outsourcing the tax audits of corporations to the big accounting firms which are also employed to minimise the tax of the very same corporations. If that is not a conflict of interest that has been set up by government, I don't know what is. But we have a ridiculous situation where the biggest tax avoiders in Australia start, of course, with Murdoch's 21st Century Fox, which is paying 1 per cent tax. But the top tax corporate tax avoiders uh, Singapore Telco, BHP Billiton, Rio Tinto, National Australia Bank, Commonwealth Bank, Westfield, QBE, ANZ, GPT Group. And these are the people who lecture the community about why they shouldn't have to pay a carbon price, why they shouldn't have to pay uh, the appropriate uh, tax in Australia whilst supporting the government to go after co-payments for going to the doctor, while telling the unemployed they have to live on six months for nothing while telling single parents that they can't be supported. It's utterly disgraceful, and the minister is not going to get away with it, and neither is the Treasurer going to the G20 saying that whilst 36 other countries have been early adopters of information sharing to get around and avoid and deal with the tax havens, Australia has asked for a delay of another year so business can adjust to the fact that the world is finally getting serious about sharing information so as to actually deal with these tax haven and tax evaders. I ask the minister today, uh, would he require Australian corporations to disclose all foreign subsidiaries in their financial statements? He didn't answer the question. I asked him today about the fact that you've got this conflict of interest with the tax officer's experienced staff having now gone to these accounting firms, and did he think that that exposed a risk to Commonwealth revenue? No, he said. He also it today said that there were enough staff and enough technology to do the job properly. So if that is the case, why is it not happening? Why aren't the tax avoiders being taken to court? Why aren't they being faced with court and faced with jail? They always get out of it by settling in, in a lack of transparency. No one ever knows what the deal was with the tax office that they got away with not paying their full share of tax. We need a new and vigorous effort by the tax office to take them to court. And if we need better legislation to do it, then we stand here ready to get behind it. But I just want to say finally 
that the leaners in Australia are the wealthiest corporations and the lifters are the rest of the community trying to manage uh, without it.